I'm not angry about it. I feel sad about it. To know that another human being would try to injure or another person for no good reason. Wendy Edmond nearly lost her life at 5 a.m. on August 31st. That's when police say Candy Johnson and her 17-year-old son, Christopher Edwards, burst into her house demanding Johnson's children, a five-year-old girl and two-year-old boy in Edmund's care. The 77-year-old Edmund fought back. Yes, I needed to protect them because, first of all, I didn't even know who this lady was. I've never seen this lady. And to open the door and say, I come to get my children, I couldn't just let them go. She was shot three times. The femur in her right leg was shattered. She has a rod in it. I have to have a wheelchair or a walker. Police say Johnson and Edwards were able to get away with the children. Would you do it again? If yes. Somebody tried to take the kids from you? Oh, they, yes. They, no, nobody coming to take the kids from me, yes. Um, yeah, I'll do it again. Edmund says her insurance company may not pay for physical therapy for her. She and her daughter have launched a GoFundMe page for uncovered expenses. Right now, my mom... Um, like her bathroom is not handicap accessible and she has one and a half bath and it's a tub and as far as her leg and everything we can't she can't like just step over the tub mm -hmm. we need rails um my mom also adopted two other kids despite this trauma edmund hopes to continue being a foster mother how long do you want to be a foster mother just forever as long as i as long as i'm alive so children needs security and they need somebody that they can say love me a lot of the children I've had had no one to say honey I love you you're a good girl or you're a good boy